I'm in the middle of like trying to start up my own comic series, my own comic book series. Oh, with a, one of my characters named Tuna Tulip. Her little Instagram handle is it was Tuna Tulip Fan Club. Okay, I've, I'd and, seen the drawings, but I didn't realize that it was a new comic series that was coming. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm I'm hoping to do like a three issue uh, mini series with her. Okay. Um, and they're going to be like in the vein of like old Harvey comics. Yeah. So Love that. I've been like using iPad a lot to kind of replicate, you know, the folds and stuff and like the colors, like the bend a dots and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I wanted to look like a beat up old comic, right? Mm-hmm. Um, except like have it be like a Harvey comic, but with like a sort of like surreal David Lynch or Tim Burton kind of like a twist. Right. To it. It's a little dark, but like cute. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's like a lot of my artwork, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's quite cute. Like there's like some nastiness under the surface of the cuteness, right? Sometimes it's even just the color palette that you use. It it kind of adds mm-hmm. to it. Like there'll just be some really just not needed in like harsh fluorescence or something or you know like i'm actually i'm i'm legally colorblind really so, <laughs> and so i mean like i mean i could see colors but the doctor explained that it's a little like a few notches lower than like normal okay so i that's why i like to use such bright colors so i could freaking see it right right <laughs> it's funny so the doctor told you the thing that like um what what teenagers think of when the first time they get high, it's like, what if the color red that you see isn't the color red that I see? <laughs> or like for me, like in my head, it's like, whoa, like the dinosaurs are probably colors we never even knew existed. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what colors they were? <laughs> so this comic, you're going to self-publish this comic or how are you going to go about publishing it? Um, I'm yeah. Self-publishing. Um, and once it's ready, like once I get like, you know, all the pages ready and everything. I want to run like my own Kickstarter or like Indiegogo or something like that. Okay. And publish her that way. See what happens. In the past, how have you put out, have you uh, put out comic books or like, how are you putting out movies or, you know, how do you, how do you fund these things usually? Um, a lot of uh, freelance work. Um, I've done like a couple, like, uh, like Kickstarter type things. I mean, it wasn't Kickstarter. It was, um, GoFundMe, I think. Yeah. GoFundMe. Like I've done like a couple GoFundMe stuff to like raise a raise money here and there. Um, but yeah, like for self published stuff, I've just done like little, you know, when you could go to like a Kinkos or I mean a FedEx now, right? Right. Uh, when you could go to like a FedEx and you know, I would just print about myself punk rock style. You know, do a lot of the folding and with their like long stapler they have there. Yeah. And nice. I just make like mini comics. Okay. You know, I would. When I moved to New York, I had like a mini comic that I would pass out to people instead of like a business card. Like, hey, I'm Joe. You know? I oh, just neat. Moved here. What would be in it? Um, I'll have to, I might have some in my archives. Like I'll, I'll dig them up and, you know, I'll, I'll scan them or take a pic of them for you. Okay. And it was just like, uh, I just moved to New York. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like that. How, and when you make them, how, do you just give them all away or do you sell them? How do you, how do you do that? It would. That was just like a bunch of, you know, giving them away. Um, you know, they, they come in really handy at like, you know, conventions and stuff, mm-hmm. you know, giving them the people that, you know, I admire or, you know, I like their art, um, you know, just hand them out. Um, I do sell like stickers and stuff here and there, um, but that's just like using like PayPal and Venmo. Uh, Venmo. <laughs> 